What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Homer Barra here. GameSpot's coverage of Day 2 Tokyo Game Show 2007 continues. I'm with my man, Ryan McDonald. How you doing, sir? Let me just knock that mic out of the way, huh? It's all good. <laughs> We're coming towards the end of the day. Tokyo Game Show is known, known for games, but not only that, but they got all sorts of merchandise here, right? Yeah, totally. When they let that public come in, this is one of the hot spots they, they all flock to because there's stuff you can get here that you really can't get anywhere else. And they got the Square Enix thing over there where they got all kinds of figures, music. They got Capcom over there. They got Resident Evil products like these super dope raccoon police department jackets, these parkas. Um, all of it's obviously super expensive, but this is a place to get it if you want to get it. Most definitely. But not only do they have game stuff, yes. but they do have some products that, you know, in the States, people might call questionable, right? Uh, questionable products, that's for sure. They got them out on the floor. Uh, maybe we'll show you some. We're going to have to check it out. But without further ado, I'm sure you guys want to check it out, so let's go hit the floor. All the Final Fantasy music that you want, or any pretty much any Square Enix music, this is Square Enix Music CD Shop. They've got pretty much every soundtrack for anything that they've ever put out. Um, they got them all right here, easy to get. Uh, the prices are fairly reasonable. I've seen some prices at some of the music shops be a little bit better, but you know what? If you're going to come to Tokyo Game Show, you want to get your Final Fantasy, your Square Enix stuff, this is all where it's at, conveniently located in one spot. They also got games here, and as you can see, you got like a air gun survivor here. I don't know how to get into that, but uh, here's another game that we got here. It's called Dangerous Meat. Let's take a look at this here. Dangerous Meat. Look at that. Oh, 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 that's dangerous. That is dangerous. I don't want to. Oh, coming soon. It's coming soon. Dangerous meat. Ryan, where are you at? Square has a whole little setup over here where they've got tons of beautiful, all kinds of stuff. I mean, like, look at this cloud. Look at the Sephiroth. They got the Gabyrinth from Final Fantasy XII. They've got all kinds of little trinkets, some chocobos in here. See these little plush chocobos? Can you get that camera in there? I know that people are kind of in the way and stuff, but. There's some chocobos, there's some chocobos, cool little Final Fantasy sword necklaces, pendants, all kinds of keychains. Look at all these little figurines and stuff from Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, they got all kinds of trading. Look at this beautiful thing. Scavenger there. They got some slimes. Everybody loves the slime, right? Look at those plush slimes. And they got all this other business over this way. But yeah, Square Enix. They got all kinds of business. Toys, this is where you want to come. Homer, where you at? I'm over here at the Wiz booth, and as you can see, they have some products here and some beautiful nurses. Here you give her a say hi, everybody. Konnichiwa. 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 All right, so aside from the lovely nurses over here, we got a game. We got some, some more games over here. Uh, here's one called uh, Black Soldier. And uh, let's see. Let's see what Black Soldier's all about here. All right. Looks like there's some red dots on the ground. And I'm, oh, I just went through that wall. I guess I'm a black soldier now. And so, yeah, that's the whiz booth. Black soldier. Got all kinds of pimp stuff. Look at this Resident Evil, or I should say, in the land of Japan, Biohazard 4 action figures. And I guess they're not really action figures because they don't look like they move that much, but they look pimp. So, check those out. On further this way, there's more, more Resident Evil merchandise. Of course, Airsoft. We can't go through a TGS without talking about how cool airsoft guns are. These are all replica BB guns. Uh, and you can see they got the super pimp ones right there. Tokyo Maru, nothing but the best. They got a little trailer for Resident Evil Extinction running there. This is actually probably one of my favorite products. Check this out. Rakuzi Police Department Parka. That thing is so awesome. Although it is extra expensive. For anybody that knows anything about conversion rates, that's like 344 bones. That's a lot of money. I mean, I, yeah, I can't pay $344. Anyway, we're going to sneak into the store. They said we could sneak in, so we're going to sneak in. This is, uh, this is like, totally legit. Like, people are usually, like, this gate here for other people. But we get to come in. We totally get to sneak in. All they asked us to do was, like, not, oh, you can't fit? Can I help you, like, fit? Let me move this over this way for you. Here. There you go. Now you can totally do it. Fit. There you go. They told us not to disturb anybody, and I think we're far from that already. But they have all these kinds of cool biohazard looking shirts. They got all this stuff. There's people. So that's the crazy thing. People have to wait in line to spend their money here. You have to wait to buy little pigs. I'm going to totally not disturb these people. Look at me. Not disturbing you or you or you. I'm sorry if I disturb you. There's some belts. I think our, yeah, we can totally get some belts and some rings. There's Devil May Cry 4 rings. You seeing this? Are you seeing that? There's some, they look like, uh, those are just straight up like regular, uh, lab yeah, this is just those things that go around your neck to hold like badges and stuff, so that's not so special. Sorry, but uh, 
Lots of cool, yeah, this is less, there's all the cool stuff apparently on the outside. Raccoon City Police Department Parka. Yeah, Capcom merchandise, pimp. Uh, yeah, check this out. You can't have a TGS show without some form of Mario plush dolls. You got some Yoshis, you got some Donkey Kong, some Wario, some Bowser, some Daisy, some Peach, some Luigi. You got a little Kirby down there. All kinds of little cute plush things for Nintendo style stuff. I know some people are seeing this and they're just like, oh my god, look at the little Mario. He's the best. He's so awesome. They also got pillows here. So to be perfectly honest, uh, I think we about tapped out this place for all the good stuff. These guys are over here playing some PS2 games, uh, some game over there called Darkness. It's not like the Darkness. There's some cell phone business here. Look at a boxing game. Boxing games are cool. I like boxing games. There's this uh, cool booth. There's like student artwork and stuff. Check this out. Look at this lady. She's way excited about this thing. Like I don't know. You can keep on flinging it. There you go. You see the things that work on the camera? That's awesome. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. It's like animation and stuff. And then a little piece of home right over this way, Academy of Art University. There's a good picture of the Golden Gate Bridge right there. Can't wait to get back home to the Bay Area. Homer, close us out. Where are you at? They also have pillows. That's pretty much the end of the merch uh, hall. We'll kick it back to you guys. No, no, it's okay. Look at this lady. She's way excited about this thing. Like, I don't know, you can keep on flinging it. There you go. You see the things that work on the camera? That's awesome. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. It's like animation.